Good morning. Good morning. Yes, very nice to see you. After some, <laughs> I was sleeping. So, <laughs> Medini, Medini, he just rang me up. They are waiting, so I'll ask them to join in. Thank you. I, I also uh, am sorry for the timing, but because of other other reasons today is. <laughs> Please uh, ask, uh, uh, give this link to Poppy also. I have given it, already given by Facebook, yes. So hopefully she'll be able to join us shortly. Um, so just replied that she got it. Yeah. <laughs> Both Medinis are waiting there, so I am just calling them. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah there's um, some problem with the audio. Yes. So, what I want to suggest, um, but can they, if I, so Poppy is now coming, if I, after Poppy joins us, I will share the screen. Yeah. Morning, Poppy. Good morning, sir. Morning, Poppy. <laughs> you know Dr. Gogoi, and you know, I think, that Medini Mohan. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> One other Medini is, but for yeah. some reason, we cannot hear him. I cannot hear him. And yeah, he was, I was, uh, he was saying that he, can, he, can, though he is not able to use the Zoom app. Maybe he doesn't know to use it. Right. So I'm wondering, I want to share the screen and I want to see if you are all able to see the document, the preliminary proposal document. Yes. Can you see that? Yeah. Medini, can you also see? Is it maybe needs to be bigger? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, they, are, they are struggling with their audio. Video. So how should we proceed this morning? I want to um, report on the meeting that I had, uh, <clears throat> and maybe oh, this meeting has come from you, Dr. Gogoi. So there is another. Yes, yes, he's a junior fellow, but he he's working with us for this uh, script. So oh, he, okay. he wants to yeah. be spectator. <laughs> yes. And he may uh, actually uh, try to some uh, focus uh, the uh, computer. Technically, he's a perfect man, so I have asked him to join also. Good, good, good plan. Very good plan. Mm -hmm. So, um, what I would like to do, uh, I'm. Can you? Uh, I was just wondering whether it would be worthwhile to record this discussion in case we need to uh, listen back to it, but I don't have the permissions to do that. I think um, it's been recorded because I can see a record uh, thing on oh, my It's already recording. Okay. Yes, there is an Good. icon that you can see on the screen. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Yes. So I wanted to first give a report on the meeting of the um, uh, Unicode script ad hoc committee, which occurred two weeks earlier, and what needs to be done in preparation for the submission of this application. So, first of all, I discussed it with the people there, and they are in general in agreement that the additional consonants mm. which were listed in the world Tipitaka for in Thai scripts um, could be added. To do this, they need to take another section of the Unicode. Um, they need to shift some other things around. This is a technical issue, but um, I don't need to go into that. But I, I made some notes on the document that date. So, um, 
I have to encode the proposal for the seven characters and put them all into the column headed 1174. This is a technical point, but um, uh, if you want to find out about that, um, I can talk, it, talk about it further. But in the letter that you sent me, which I included in the application, um, don't worry about that. This is just a, a draft document and which I need to, you mentioned <coughs> that number one, the revised diahom letters as used in the transcript version of the diahom to Petrica should be adopted and included in diahom Unicode for all purposes. Number two, new vowel signs adopted from the old diahom scripts to be included. And number three, future provisions um, such as for P, H, F, B, V, as well as consonant clusters, as well as tone marks. So this is what we need to have some clarification and details relating. Mm. The first thing is that B, V is already attended to. So it may not be the case that um, there is a, uh, that the font that has been made is showing this, but the location of V is already present. So I just want to look up um, <coughs> Diahom Unicode, uh, not this. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe this one here. We'll cover it. Um, the addition of V has already been done here. Can people see that? That's number 1177A. So this V or W sound is already, has been included. This was done about two years back and but I don't believe it is yet present in the, um, in the font, but that's uh, another matter, the, the moving from, um, from Unicode to making a font with it is a, is a second stage and also making a keyboard with it. So I'm sorry, this is what I need here. So, so this, this letter is already there. Um, so what they are needing, first of all, if we are going to make a proposal for any additional vowels or tone marks, this will be quite difficult right at the present time because this particular application has to be prepared by 23rd of September, which is now only 11 days from now. And uh, we need to give information about these new vowel signs or tone marks or any other consonants and some evidence of them being used. This is something that the Unicode committee wants. They um, want it to be, um, they want to see evidence of these symbols being used, which in the case of the, um, these symbols, we have this evidence because it is part of this book. Does this, does this make sense to everybody who is uh, listening? Is it clear? what I'm saying. So, um, <clears throat> so, so one, of, one of the suggestions that they had um, was that it would be better simply to apply for the addition of the seven additional letters that are already found in that book, in the um, World Pitaka in Thai scripts, and this could then get included in the next version of Unicode, which would come into, um, into use sometime next year. And then maybe after one year or something more, we might get fonts and keyboards available for it. So we currently have the um, uh, Noto Serif Ahom font that um, was created by Google, which is freely available and which works. Um, but to add any additional characters to that, 
they need to be approved by the Unicode and then added to the font and then keyboards created. So this is a multi-step process. Um, but to bring any other characters apart from these seven, get, remembering that the va is already included, having been added a couple of years ago, we need to have some evidence for the use of these characters. So that may require another application later, because I don't know what are these additional vowels um, that your um, proposal speaks about, or the tone marks. So um, <clears throat> we, we would have um, approximately 22 more spaces on the code for Ahom that will be available for future expansion. Um, of these seven, are proposed to be used for this new set of consonants. Um, then there is possibly one ya that needs to be added. That would be number eight. And, and also the fa, which has been discussed. Um, fa, we can add if there is some evidence for its usage. So I have got a photograph of the fa that you sent prior to the meeting, this, but we would want to have something, some evidence that it is actually in use by Taya Home community in some way. So some publication that includes it, uh, I don't know um, what is in existence because I only have at the moment this uh, photograph of this, uh, this, this image of this one. So um, it, uh, it seemed uh, one of the members of the uh, committee that I spoke to two weeks earlier, um, they told me that the, uh, this particular um, symbol had some similarities with one of the Shan letters. I need to follow up on that, but that's okay. That's not a problem. At least we have a drawing of it, but we don't have any um, information about its usage at this point. Uh, now, the next point related to the Ya. So here in this set of Pali letters, which is on the second page of the draft document, you will see that the ja and the ya are actually written in the same way. I can't see any difference between them. I'm going to make it a little bigger on my screen um, so that hopefully we can see it. But you can see, are you all able to see where my cursor is yep. on the screen? So the ja here and the ya here, these are different letters in Pali alphabet and they are different in Sanskrit, but they, I cannot see them as being any different here. So I, I think this was a mistake of this publication not to make a difference between these two. But I don't know what the Diahom community is currently feeling about should we have one more letter uh, yeah. to cover this distinction or have they simply made a mistake that one of them should have um, that there is some other difference going on because I don't know what font was used for creating this document either but can you you see what I mean that the ja and the ya are otherwise the same and I don't believe that they should be the same. I think they should be different. If it is going to be done correctly um, yeah. for, the, for the rendition of Pali language fully, you need to have a ja and a ya separate. Um, but how shall we distinguish them? So, and we have not got a lot of time to put this together. 
Um, I'm a little bit afraid that the committee might come back and say, well, look, you should wait until all of these characters are properly organised, but then it will be another year before we get any of them. So this is the, this is the issue. And I'm sorry that it, it comes to this, but the way it, I think if we, for example, if we had um, some clear drawings of what all the other new symbols were to look like and some information about how they, uh, um, you know, some, some evidence of the use of them, we could get this done in the next 11 days, but that is basically what is um, in front of us. Now, I can write the proposal from here. That is, and if you, I can send to everybody the existing form of the proposal. I have, I have made some notes on it. I should point out that I'm required to put all of the letters into a table that looks like this. Um, but I have just borrowed this table from a different script. So of course this is not a home. So um, you'll be understanding that I need to change these numbers and put the correct symbols into these columns. Uh, I just had not yet um, uh, done that. And uh, so please, to ignore that. That is just so that, um, because what they require, the, the existing one looks like, uh, where is it? It was here before, yeah. The existing one looks like this, okay? Starting from 11700 up to 1173F. So the Unicode is built on, a, um, uh, on blocks of 16. And so, for example, the column 1170 has first 11700, then 11701, that is ka, 11702, that is nga, etc. And because there are only um, 10 digits after nine, it goes to A, B, C, D, E, F. That makes up 16. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. And what's going to happen is that we are going to add a new column 1174 for the new symbols. Does anybody over there have a copy of the font with which this uh, document, this um, uh, Tipitaka was made? Does anyone have this font? Because it would be very helpful, um, would, would um, help me a lot to have it in writing this proposal. Otherwise, putting the symbols in is going to involve copying and uh, uh, cutting symbols and various kind of more complicated um, processes. So if anybody knows where to get this font, that will also be helpful. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have these uh, fonts uh, no. in the computer. So we will have no. to ask the Walt Tipitaka Foundation to uh, send it. I have asked already. Yeah. But, uh, they have not responded yet. So yeah. although they prepared these uh, fonts, this uh, keyboard was not uh, uh, released. For yeah. uh, use, that, that's the problem. Yeah. So I am asking already, already uh, WTF, World Tipitaka Foundation, to send yeah. the keyboard. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if I don't have them, what I what I will simply do is to cut the symbol in this way. I don't know if you can see that, but I just cut that and copy it into the document. It will be sufficient for present purposes. Okay. Um, but it would be easier if the font were available. I mean, the font looks to me to have been created from the original Ahom font. Yeah, uh, 
I guess otherwise I can create, yeah. You can also create? Yeah, yeah, I can create if you want. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> it has to be done quite quickly, but uh, so yeah. one of the things would be, and of course it doesn't have to be a Unicode font because I just have to get the symbols into, um, into the squares. One of the que questions would be, can we make a decision about what the difference between the ya and the ja should be. Okay. So currently the ja symbol in Ahom is this one, 1170A, and that is called Ahom letter ja, J-A. -A. That is its technical name. Um, and that is what they have used for this and this. But should we have a different form? Yeah. And if we have a different form, what should it be? Um, so I, I know it's early in the morning there, and I apologize for the timing on this, but whether some of you can get together and discuss and, and come up with this yeah um, in the next few days. I see. Mm -hmm. What, how, it would need to be different. So, I mean, for example, it could have a straight line. It could be straight on the left-hand side, or it could even curl in the different direction, or I don't know, some difference needs to be there. You can see, for example, the difference between the la and the retroflex, the la. This yeah, is la. Pali is all to do with the black dot on the left hand side. So this is, um, but some, uh, some, uh, uh, something needs, and I, I, I certainly cannot create a new a home letter here, but can point out that one is necessary if this task is to be done correctly because these two should not be the same. They are different letters in Pali. So, um, and, and also different letters in standard Thai, which is what this um, grey letter is. This is a um, standard Bangkok Thai letter. The small squiggle on top of it, which is given there for everything except Nga, is um, the symbol to indicate that there is no vowel attached to this. But I don't know why the nga does not have it, but never mind, that's probably just an error. But as you can, um, as you can see, uh, these, um, uh, there is a difference between the Thai letter for ja or j and the Thai letter for ya or y. Um, Poppy will certainly know that this actually, this letter uh, here today is pronounced cha in yeah. Thai, but it is historically it was a ja sound, but the today modern in modern Thai it's pronounced as cha. So uh, there is um, <clears throat> there is some complexity involved in this, but I think so it seems to me um, the I can go ahead and change this proposal in the way that the committee that I met two weeks ago requires for the seven new letters, which are this retroflex T, this one here, retroflex TH, retroflex D, Retroflex DH, that's the Mordonia series. Retroflex N, there's five of them. This L here, which is number six. And the seventh one is this C, this duck symbol here. This I can do, but your help is needed if we are to do anything more than that right now. And so... <clears throat> um, and they also wanted to have a letter from the 
S-T-A-R, from your organization, um, specifically stating support for the particular characters that will get included in the proposal. So what I would suggest there is that once we have written the proposal, then we will write the letter of support. And I will give you the suggestion for what needs to be written in it to say we need this letter and this letter and this letter and this letter. This is something they wanted to have. But <clears throat> so the question is, though, can we um, I'm going to put I'm going to put these questions into the chat um, so that people can and hopefully you can see the questions. One relating to the letters ja and ja. How should they be different? Be different. And what should the form of ya be? Two, relating to the proposed letter fa, what evidence can we give to the Unicode committee, committee of its usage? Okay. Relating to any future, any new vowel symbols, what shapes are they and can we present evidence for their usage and similarly relating to any con uh, tone symbols what shapes are they and can we present evidence yeah. so, um, <coughs> Uh, Mr. Borgohain, Bur Buragohain, apologies, has asked me, can modern publications be regarded as evidence for the usage of new, new letters? Yes. Okay, sir. So, if you have a modern publication with anything in it, okay. Okay. Then please send it to me as soon as possible. Um, and <clears throat> I don't know that I can do more work on this today, but... Over the next couple of days, we will have to move quite quickly on this. So, um, <clears throat> yes, so if there is evidence of the usage of um, fa or any new vowels or any uh, tones in modern publications, this evidence is exactly what is required. So the Unicode committee is interested in the script both into both so that it can be used to write the old manuscripts, but I am reasonably sure, and Poppy and I, we have discussed this in the past, that it can write all of the old manuscripts, especially now that the addition of this va is present because we do have a distinction between va and ba in some old manuscripts. This is in a very important article published just, was it yesterday, Poppy, or day before? Yeah. <laughs> yesterday, Which, I didn't have, uh, have time to look at it. I was so busy yeah, yesterday. <laughs> same for me, but Poppy has... Uh, exciting. Article. I was also involved in that... Um, you can look at which talks about this and va is definitely there in the old manuscripts. We have the evidence. It is already included in the Unicode. So um, this is not a problem, but the Unicode will also be happy um, to add any letters that have been created for the new, for the reviving language, which are regarded as necessary by community if there is some evidence for them being used. So are there some modern publications which are showing these, apart from the Tipitaka, World Tipitaka in Thai scripts, 15 script set, which is the evidence for these seven characters? 
Is there anything else at this time? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we have to create it, uh, but it will take time. Yeah. Yes, well, yeah. and <clears throat> so one of the issues is that I'm not sure we have got the time. Um, mm -hmm. If So the question is, these additional vowels and... So the letter fa is already created because we, we can see it here. Um, Dr. Gogoi sent me this nice photo. Um, I don't know, but I have, and Medini Gogoi, I know you have spoken about this letter in the past. So this one is already created, but is there anything which is uh, written using it? Is there any information about where it is proposed to use it? Um, like in traditional ahom, this letter would not have been different from pa so that we have ever discovered. So um, uh, there is the combination of pa and ra, which can be written with the um, curled round form. And there is still work to be done on the existing fonts to make that happen nicely. Uh, but yeah, so, <clears throat> so the question is, um, has there been any decision made about the shapes that these proposed vowels and tone marks should have? Uh, actually, yes. We uh, I discussed uh, with Medini Kogwe, mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, I tried to make a font on these, um, but it's not complete, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how soon could it be made complete? Uh, uh, it's almost complete, like uh, you can say 90%. I have to just make some additions. So, okay. it will be complete, yeah. It will be complete, because um, if it can be complete within the next couple of days, yeah. then we can do something. Okay, um, but so, for, uh, so for the tone marks, uh, we don't know whether to follow uh, which system, like existing, or uh, we yeah. have to devise any new. I don't know, but for the tone marks, can we <clears throat> be using like the shan? Well, you could. Um, so this is, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with them, I'll just open up the uh, document that we need for this purpose. Uh, which is here is the uh, so this is the current version of the I'll just move the chat out of the way. Um, if you don't have this document, um, I might just find the link for it. <coughs> Not UTN four, is that it? Oh, no, that is not what I wanted. Ah. Um, does that get unfortunately? <coughs> I'm trying to find the right version of this UTN UTN eleven five. So. Sir, while you're uh, looking at it, can I quickly ask a question? Like, have we decided on the number of tones that are going to be included? And are we just going to adapt from Shan or some other Thai variety?
मेडिनी आई थिंक How about the old tone marks? Is it uh, will it work or will you have to de develop few new tonal signs? I mean, uh, for our home, there were there were no tone marks, right? So, are we going to adopt from like which variety, like which old, even old variety, which variety, like Taishan or Aiton or Pake or? I mean. So Aiton and Pake and Kamti also traditionally did not have sharp tone marks. Right. Um, nor then, Shan, but the, right. the, the Shan acquired the tone marks in um, okay. And then again, like tones normally align with the consonants and vowel combinations. Oh, yeah. This is so, how they will be used is another complication. Right. Uh, that 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 think, needs to be figured out because like yes. it will be difficult to just put in the tones if we don't know to use. Well, I think the Unicode committee would come back to me and say, why are you putting in tone marks when you don't right. know where to use them? So right, exactly. um, this is uh, both Medinis will recall yeah. that when we were in Kokrajar together in, in February, we had a long discussion about how to, how to, um, <clears throat> how tones work in Thai languages. And I think this would be a good topic for uh, me to give one of those Friday lectures about in a week or two. Um, yeah. But it's, the time is not sufficient to right. get into this proposal. That's the thing exactly. I'm concerned about. Um, so this document, which explains the Burmese, all the different Burmese scripts, including the Thai ones, does include the information about the Shan tones. Now, Shan, modern Shan uses six different tone marks. One is unmarked, so a word which has no tone mark, and then the others are these five here. So one is like a small comma, one is like a um, semicolon mark, one is like a colon mark, one is like a small circle, small full stop, and then this last one here. Um, but the last one is not used in every Shan variety because the tone systems are different from one Shan, Shan variety to another, if that makes sense. Um, so they, but, but the tone, but the, um, sorry, um, ah, stop it. Right. Uh, there, there are some issues with the tone marks um, in, some noise is going on here, what is going on? Right, that's better. Um, okay, just a moment. <clears throat> um, there are some, the whole question of tone marks is very complicated. And I, I'm, what I'm afraid of is that if we have some parts of this application, which are not fully um, thought through, fully explained, they may say, we don't want to include any of these things. Right. Um, whether it would then therefore be better just to include the things we are sure about, right. which is not the whole thing, and then try in one year's time to, in, to include more. So this is something I'm not, um, I don't know the answer to. Yeah, I mean, to get it accepted, you need to have a strong uh, uh, proposal with, uh, guy, I mean, back with evidence and uh, reasoning, like why you need it and what's the reason and yes. what's the evidence for it. Otherwise, it might be rejected. Uh, this I'm concerned about. So it was, right. it was very clear from the meeting two weeks ago, if we go back to the original proposal here, make it smaller. So the advice they gave me on that occasion, from their perspective, which is not, of course, 
necessarily the same as the community, but they said the proposal should be simply for the seven characters, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> which are included in the world to Pipika, um, yeah. but anything else should not be there. Now, if we can manage to, um, to get yeah. enough evidence yeah. to add fa and ya in that time, then I'm certainly willing to try. But I think with the tone marks and vowels, if they are not yet in use, it's going to be difficult to, to get them included in this present proposal. It, d d does that make sense to people here? Uh, we have one question. I think someone's yeah. phone is nearby, near the computer or something, which is... <laughs> wow. Yeah, this, this yeah. is... So, there might be a mobile phone nearby. <laughs> there might be. We are, <coughs> we are having a, an, a dire home meeting in three countries. This is not <laughs> very, this is very um, special kind of event. So, um, so... Unmute Corillo, unmute Corillo, Medini. And the mic to hurry, mic to click Corillo, unmute who is over. Or if Medini, if you want to write a message in um, in Facebook and we can read it there or something. Yeah. Chat, chat, you can use. Or use the chat if you can, but if you can't. Oh. I wonder what they're using, if they're using a computer or the um, They're using, I think, a phone. Both uh, side by side, it seems. Medini, to me, to unmute it. icon at the end of the video, click the video, unmute it. Screen can you talk soon? My icon is not going to click the video, click the video, unmute it. Hi, left side or exam to lot. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, hi. Hi, dear Hunisha. Okay. Okay. So we got him. Hey, man. I'll stop the sharing so that it's easier. Uh... I'm trying to see. So, um, I, I can't and send it in the chat because I oh, think they're having mobile phones. It. Yes. Menda photo ekhon mari chatar pothai dio. Take a photo of it and send it by add it to Facebook chat or something. So, can we have yeah. a um uh. Can we set up a Facebook group for all of for all six of us to discuss these issues there, um, mm -hmm. or a Facebook group chat? Yes. Yeah. Um, do I have you added to my? Um, uh, group chat. Um, I, I haven't seen yet which Buragohai um, uh, it is. But I wonder, like, uh, also, like, just chatting, what? right? Because, because, like, if we do Zoom, we can record it, but on Facebook, we cannot record. Yes, on a, for discussion, Zoom is better, but for, for later sort of chat and sending things, um, mm -hmm. just, uh, just a second. Uh, And uh, yeah, I'm thinking I like uh, after this, I'll share our paper that got published yes. yesterday. And then they might have an idea of 
the correspondences and the merger things happen happening and then the graphs that have been discussed i'm sending you um a message a private message on the chat here am uh, burago hain because i'm not sure i since i haven't seen your i'm not sure um if you are is uh yeah i'm having an another id like uh, that id has been restricted i guess <laughs> um so, oh. is, that, is is that your id which is showing up in something that looks like um i am having one facebook id like uh, in tamil tamil script okay yeah so that's so, you okay so i see Group discussion, a home revise. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's present. Let's yeah. make sure that we have. Can we add? Um, uh, can we add Poppy and Doctor Gogoi to that? So Medini Gogoi has just sent. I'll I'll share my screen again now, because Medini Gogoi has just sent a photo there of one manuscript. Can you see that? Yes. on the shared screen so i can see um that there is and you are seeing here that this fa is due to this small extra line here is that the the six uh, look at number six six line no this one yeah su patha is written there five one two three four this one here where the yeah sixth line yeah. is sixth line yeah yeah so hard work oh, i see because this is different from this one mm. but this is cha but yeah but cha right yeah cha so how is it going to be different from pa that's what i'm wanting to Uh, we need to have at least like few more evidences of this, and we need to look at other Fs in the same manuscript, right? Yeah. Like whether they are uh, regular. So I think we. Ah, uh, so I can send you the whole manuscript. Yeah. We need to demonstrate the distinction between this potential. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm also sending another manuscript. Okay. uh yeah. you you get so, for for you define define yeah. manuscript yeah so one so, more photo. if you i mean yeah. whether whether the pha uh, pa is used for certain words and fa pa is used for certain different words so we need to have the distinction i want to can, how and how do we add poppy and Dr. Hemanta Gogoi, to this discussion, so that we are all together in this Facebook discussion group. Uh, I guess uh, Dr. Hemanta is not there. Otherwise, uh, other people are there. I can. Is Poppy also already there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are receiving the message. Yes, yes. One, one more uh, photo I have. I am sending actually. This one, one here. Third line, yeah. In the third uh, line. Different manuscript. Yes. Is but, it the same manuscript or different manuscript? Yeah. uh from define manuscript yeah so what we need to know hard line out the far and in the same manuscript we will need to know i'm sending under both pa no ps and f okay okay yeah uh, is the, the name of the manuscripts if possible yeah. okay let me send let me take one and photo one more especially to differentiate the two This is not. Uh, not. Full of the photo. Full of the photo. Full of. Magul. Wait. This wait. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 
I'll be back after one minute. Portland. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so here, this, and here you are saying that this is from the same manuscript, same manuscript, same manuscript. and here we don't have the, this part, which we do have here. Okay, that seems clear enough. Okay. Um, so now I think I can um, make some, what? Oh yeah, I see. I think I can make something of that. So um, let, me, let me work on that. And in the meantime, do you know, what is the name of this manuscript? Uh, this manuscript is about the history of Southern Sahara, uh, first Nahum King. Okay, so uh, I couldn't hear that very clearly because of some feedback. So if you can, if you can write here, okay. the name of the manuscript and where it. I think he said like uh, it's about a uh, uh, historical information about Sukafa. Yeah, so it's some kind of Burangi, we can say. Yeah. And where it comes from, if if possible. Uh, uh, this manuscript belongs to Sao Premo Fukon from Zozoli Pansuri. Okay. If yeah. you can write all that down, because that will help me. Okay. And so, yeah, like this. Um, has been suggested with a small hook on the bottom. Uh, it's as good as anything. I, I don't, I, like, um, however, I, I think it will be, again, somewhat difficult to persuade them that it needs to be included if we don't have um, some evidence of it being used. So this is the, this is the challenge. Um, and, uh, but um, I can, okay, so what I can add here is, so uh, at the Zoom meeting on. Uh, one, uh, one, uh, uh, one more, one more. One more. Uh, I proposed this stood so now put some manuscript evidence. So I think what might be the best way forward now is so what what am I looking at here? What is the um, is that to do with this one on the second line, this one? 
share and get the chat from here right so here were the questions to be decided um, okay so so questions one and two so we're now looking at the Facebook page um, uh, I will um, but I have stopped the screen share so unless you are looking at the um, Facebook That's all I need. Now I'll share the screen again um, so you can see the Facebook chat. So, questions to be cited relating to the letters ja and ya, how should they be different and what form of ya should the form of ya be? Well, you have already proposed one of those. And relating to the proposed letter fa, what evidence you give to the Unicode committee of its usage, you have given that. So, so, and then points three and four were relating to vowel symbols and tone symbols. So, as concerns, as concerning points one and two, I think what has been discussed this morning morning may be sufficient be sufficient for the current proposal so we can put in those seven letters plus ya and fa because 
we can justify ya on the basis of it is necessary for the um, uh, uh, use of the proper rendition hmm. of Pali scripts. Right. <laughs> but relating to three and four, tone, vowels and tones, um, I think it will be too hurried to make those into the proposal now. But if you can uh, organ, if you can make some decisions about the shapes of proposed new vowels and consonants and tone marks, and uh, it may still be possible, still be possible to include them later. Now, what I can say is I have been told that I should get this revised proposal prepared by 23rd of September. And to do that proposal properly, there's enough work without these vowels and tones. But I think you should, as a community, start preparing what do you need in terms of more vowel signs and, and tone marks. And we can spend time over the coming weeks and months discussing how to use them. And Poppy and I, Poppy, let's us agree to prepare a talk about tones. You know, like my Friday afternoon talks, we can do one of those about tones. In a this, few this Friday? We do Not this, this coming Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah, because I, I am a little occupied with my visa thing because I have to yeah, change yeah. No, my... No, no. Yeah, yeah. It can be after, because this is not going to be possible to prepare... <laughs> the tones and vowels by the 23rd of September. Yeah, and maybe 23rd, if I don't have a visa, I have to return. So exactly. no, <laughs> I'm in like a physical condition now. <laughs> That's right. So, um, so you have to worry about that. But I think yeah. um, this can be a, a, something that we can discuss. But in the meantime, um, uh, the remainder of you, the, the ones back in Assam, can start talking about what tone symbols you want and also what vowel symbols you want. Now, I'll add to this here the um, uh, latest version of the Myanmar encoding. It's a very technical and long document. Um, but I was trying to find the link for it before on, um, uh, <coughs> so um, this document is about the Myanmar scripts. <coughs> the tones of Shan are listed on, this is the tones of Shan, I think. Yeah, tones of Shan are listed on page 44. Page 44, they are numbered 1087, 1087 to 108. Page 44. Okay, page 44. Now, the tones of that have been adopted for Kamti, uh, are not exactly the same. So Kamti has added a couple more different ones. So, and they are on page 48. Tones of Kamti are on page 48, 109A. And have a range of numbers. Let's just um, cut and code that for you now. Here you can see there are seven of them. And there is also an unmarked tone. There 
there is also an unmarked tone. But the difference between Kamti and Burmese Shan on one hand and Ahom on the other is that because they are spoken languages, people know how many tones there are and which word belongs to which tone. But for Ahom, we haven't, that, that, that information I think is not yet worked out. So that's why I think it will be good for Poppy and I um, in a few weeks time to put together a presentation about how tones are used in those other Thai languages. And then this can be useful as a way of uh, helping to develop the tones in the future. Right. That sounds like a good plan? Yes. Okay, so, um, so I think we have agreed then that we will try to get um, a, a proposal for the seven letters in the world Tibetica plus fa and ya yeah. be ready by the 23rd. And we will work to plan for other things over the coming period, because we can make another application next year for a further change, but I think we are not ready to make it now. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. A lot of works have to be done for that, for that thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll the to thing for now is homework. like to, yeah. I mean, we need to get started first and then we can do further yes. additions later. Yeah, exactly. So, I can report that the meeting which I attended and the reason why uh, I did not suggest any of you attending, two reasons. Firstly, I wanted to discover for myself what is the process they use in those meetings and they are very technical. Yeah. Um, but also it was held at very early in the morning India time. If you think this time is early, that time was four hours mm -hmm. early. So you would all have like been seen. Nice. <laughs> but um, if we need in the future to somebody from community to talk with them, that can be arranged. But these people are, if you start to discuss with them that we are not sure yet or we don't know where to find this in the manuscript or something like this, they will not... Uh, they will not be patient for that because they are dealing with dozens or maybe hundreds of scripts that want to change and add and, uh, you know, they're having all around the world, this is happening. So uh, for that reason, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have to go now. Um, I have some other works to do. So I'm very pleased to see everybody, even if could not here, <laughs> our medin is very clearly, but at least we could see. <laughs> and um, I will meet, I will, will, we will have further discussion on that um, Facebook group chat in the coming days. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Wow. Have a good day, sir. Have a good Lovely day, everyone. Lovely to see you, Medini. <laughs> yeah. So, my wife has just returned home from shopping, so I have to... <laughs> Uh, yeah. And we're still in this um, lockdown here, so it's a little difficult. So I have to go and do some some duties. So thank you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.